Hi everyone, welcome back to science. I'm Miss Catherine and today we're gonna complete lesson 3.3 in matter and energy in ecosystems. Um, pause the video at this time and grab the materials that you will need for our lesson today. And here's the click path if you are following along online and our heading for our paper today. Again, pause the video so you can get all set up. For warm up thinking today, we're gonna reflect a little bit on what we figured out in chapter two and how that applies um, to what we've been doing here in chapter three. Um, so in chapter two, you learned that the decomposer population in the biodome decreased. Um, and this meant that fewer organisms were doing cellular respiration and as a result, less carbon dioxide was given off. So the amount of carbon dioxide in the air decreased. And in this chapter, we've been trying to consider, well, where did that carbon go? Um, if the carbon is no longer in the air in the form of abiotic matter, um, then where could it be? At this time, I'd like you to pause the video and review the two claims I have here for you below and explain which claim you think best answers this chapter three question here in bold. Is it claim one that states the carbon that used to be in the air is no longer in the biodome, so the total carbon decreased? Or claim two, the carbon that used to be in the air is now in another part of the ecosystem, so the total carbon stayed the same. When I'm reviewing those two claims, um, I can eliminate claim number one um, because I know that the biodome is a closed system and so that means no matter enters or exits. Um, and so the total carbon can't decrease. And last lesson when we did the carbon game, um, we kept moving around the carbon tokens, uh, but our total amount of the carbon tokens stayed the same, was always 30. Um, so that to me means that claim number two uh, best answers our question uh, because I know that our total carbon, our total matter stays the same in a closed ecosystem. Um, and so there are two very important key concepts um, around this idea of a closed system and matter staying the same. Uh, so at this time, again, pause the video and please make sure that you record both of these key concepts on your paper beneath your warm-up thinking for today. So our first key concept reads, since carbon cannot be produced or used up, the total amount of carbon in a closed ecosystem does not change. And our second key concept states that if the amount of carbon increased in abiotic matter, then it also decreased in biotic matter. If the amount of carbon decreased in abiotic matter, then it also increased in biotic matter. And that second statement is just reminding us that if it's increasing in one spot, it's decreasing somewhere else and vice versa. And we had seen this image before in a reading. And again, that just is reminding us um, of what these two key concepts are trying to illustrate that we are always moving carbon among these components of the ecosystem through those natural processes of photosynthesis and cellular respiration and eating and dying. Um, and remember that red arrow is representing um, some human interactions, some human adjustments to the way the system works through our burning of fossil fuels. And that um, action is increasing the amount of carbon in our abiotic matter um, because it's taking that carbon that is stored in dead matter and releasing it into the atmosphere. 